My name is Greg Nelson. I'm the Vice President of Marketing at Hyperlite Wakeboards. And before this, I was a professional wakeboarder from back in the 90s. And as being part of that early generation, it was our job to bring wakeboarding to the masses and show people what, what we thought wakeboarding was and what it could be. At that time, a lot of us, we really thought we were invincible. You know, we didn't always wear our life jackets. Back in 1999, I had my company double up wakeboards and we were embarking on the second year of our wakeboard tour. It was called the Double Up Experience. And Corey Kraut was one of my team riders at the time. And uh, if you ever knew Corey, you knew why I had him with me on the road. His personality was infectious. Uh, no matter what the situation was, if Corey was there, you were having fun, it was a good time. Corey just lightened the mood with everybody. The team was in Texas, Corey being there with the RV and the boat doing demos. I got a call on Sunday. They said Corey was gone. And I was like, well, what do you mean? You know, I've I lived that moment. I've relived it many, many times since then. And uh, Corey was riding without a life jacket. You know, he was kind of jumping toward the chase boat, caught a tow side edge, and just went down really, really hard. You know, when you watch it, you know, you can, you can see that, you know, the impact that he took was just horrendous. You know, the motion of his body was probably carrying him down, you know. Because the follow boat was right there, I mean, they were in the water on top of his spot within seconds. Nobody found him. Nobody saw him. They were in, you know, he was gone. It wasn't until three days later, I think, where Corey's body surfaced. I've watched that, I've watched that crash many times since. Had he had a life jacket on? we at least would have found him. You know, we would have, they would have found him right away. And, you know, who knows, Corey could be with us today. I don't think Corey ever wanted to be like a martyr for life jacket safety or anything, but man, I know he would rather be around today. And every one of his friends or family would love to have him with us today as well. So wear your life jacket, be safe. Don't be telling this story some other way.